All right, so now we head further north back to Copeland's camp. <clears throat> and I believe there's another Nero checkpoint that way that I never did. And I don't know why. I'm actually happy I came back to do this one. Because this one had a ton of items, right? Let's see. Right there. I have no idea why I never did this one. I guess we're going to find out. It's along the way, so... <clears throat> if you remember the last time I was here, there was a giant fucking horde that came out of the sawmill when that stupid uh, loudspeaker went off. It completely fucked me over. <clears throat> Alright. What the fuck? OBS equals Ole Bernie Sanders? Where do people get this shit? I had an OBS error trying to record right before you started recording. So it's oh, OBS stands for Ole Bernie Sanders. Huh. What? What the hell are you talking about? Just what I need. <clears throat> a bear. A bear? Look out. This game is really quiet. Yeah, pretty much. Unless you're in a horde of zombies, there's not a lot going on. There's no, no music. The game has no soundtrack, so... <clears throat> it can be very quiet at times. Oh, by the way, I have nitrous. I completely forgot I bought nitrous for my bike. Here it goes, nitrous. Nitrous boost. Asshole in the middle of the road. Life is a highway. I want to ride it all night long. If you're going my way, I want to. Ah! God damn it! How did I manage to do this? <laughs> all right. <laughs> How did I manage that? Look, the thing's all fucked up. I'm gonna have to waste my scrap to repair my bike. Five percent. You fuckhead. I had to waste scrap to repair my bike. Now my melee weapon's gonna break. Find the horde? How about fuck off? No, I will not find the horde. I will avoid the horde. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I passed it? There's a Nero checkpoint over here. Okay, no, no wonder I never did it. Look, it's up here. You can't reach it. <clears throat> How do you get to it? How the fuck do you get to it? Here it is. Oh, it's heating up. You have to jump. I think you have to jump.
So no wonder I never did it. I think you have to do a riding jump across. Yeah, it's from here. Okay, let's see if I can do it. I have nitrous now. God damn it. Ow. Good night. Ah. Uh -huh. Another micro record. Nero injector. Just what the doctor wants. Nice. And some yeah. enemies says there's actually a lot of Nero sites you have to jump across like this one to get to them. See, I didn't know about any of them. This is the first one I even found. I didn't know these existed. Pain in my ass. Yeah, well, I guess you don't have to worry about your duty roster right. anymore, do you? Coke Castile just took me five dollars and said ask two things or actually this is what we're going to be doing now good he says how do you feel about skull girls did you see Bla Bla blaze blue cross battle tag had a huge update in new dlc uh skull girls i thought was a very solid fighting game engine i actually enjoyed playing it when it was a new game but i wasn't in love with the art style i'm just not, I'm not i don't like that anime -ish style art for a fighting game um so I played it for a little bit at launch, and I never really cared about it after that, you know. As for Blaze Blue, I never played it. So, I, you know, I don't care about DLC and stuff for Blaze Blue. <clears throat> okay, now on to Copeland, because there's nothing else, right? Yeah, okay, no other Neuro checkpoint in this area that I can see. Nope, all the ones that were that were on my map, looks like I've gotten them now, so... We'll go back to Copeland. All right. <clears throat> I missed the bridge. A nice zombie bonfire. <laughs> I haven't been to Copeland's in quite some fucking time. Holy shit. Drifter, let him in. Oh, my neck. Oh, hey, haven't seen you around much lately. Only 325 maybe years gone up north without me, Jesse. No, no, we haven't gone up north. Boozer's, um, Boozer can't ride anymore. He's a uh, well. We're, we're we're down at Lost Lake Camp, and I don't think that we're going anywhere. Jesus, Deke. No. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I mean, I I heard rumors coming in from the shit, you know, that Boozer was hurt or whatever, but I didn't know it was that bad. Maybe it's just it was. Look, uh, the offer stands. When we if we head north to Smith Rock, you're coming with us. You got that. Yeah, Deke. Sure. Whatever you uh, say, man. Uh, See you, I guess, man. I guess it was one of their old friends. <clears throat> Come on. Get him inside. What happened? I got hit again. 
Squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Come here, ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! No. <laughs> Find Manny. I don't even remember who Manny is. <laughs> I really don't. Was Manny the guy who was working on the vehicles early in the game? Because like I said, I never almost did nothing for Copeland. So. <clears throat> okay. What's going on? Cope, I found his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. Hanging bodies here. Why is he still crawling? All right. So still alive. God. Kinga Dinga Durgan took me five dollars. Said rest in peace, Artie Lang. Did he pass away? I know he's been in really bad, uh, you know, situations with drugs and everything recently. He's been doing real bad, man. Wonder if he did. I'm not seeing it trending. You would think that if it happened, it would be trending. I don't see a trending. It might just be bullshit. That would be really sad. I mean, that guy, what a, what a fucked up life he's had. You know, I was a fan of his when he was part of the Howard Stern show. And he's just had insane fucking struggle with drugs and shit, man. Over the years, he just can't stop. Every time he gets himself to a position where he's getting cleaned up and shit, he just gets back into it. And he's never been able to be clean, uh, you know, for an extended period of time. So I hope it's not true. That would be very sad if that were true, man. <clears throat> Alright, anyway, we're going this way? Yes. He didn't die. He got arrested. Not surprising. <clears throat> like I said, his drug-related charges. He has drugs, drugs, drugs. He can't stay off of them. His whole life's fucked up because of drugs. It's messed up. You know, it's a shame because tons of people have tried to help Artie over the years. He's just one of those cases where his life is so fucked. He's so permanently stuck on drugs that, like, he just can't. Like, the only way he can function is on drugs. You know? So much for the sniper. Items here? It says there's a couple. What are they? Bottle. And a sterilizer. Oh wait, what's that? A tin can. Oh, 
Holy shit. A big camp. He's hiding somewhere. So dumb. Where'd they go right there? They're beating the shit out of them. I can't get him because the other one's walking this way. They all walk like they got a load in their pants. You notice that? Nice, some ammo. Exactly what I need. How's this guy surrounded by fucking bodies and not scared shitless that someone's coming to get his ass? <clears throat> Slaughtered so many. Bo Democrat did 100 bit cheer. He said, I used to see him on the Howard Stern show when he got back on heroin. Howard got him onto the best rehab and paid for it. Said I thought he would turn it around. Never thought he would be in this deep of a hole. The problem with Artie, in my opinion, is he's like in deep depression. He always has been. And depression's a really fucked up illness. To the point where you can, a lot of times, just can't get yourself out of it. And so even in life, when he's getting ahead or he's getting better, his depression pulls him back down to, to, to ruin his life again. It really is, in a lot of cases, depression causes self destruction and I think that's the case here with Artie is even when things are on the up and up and looking good for him his depression makes him do it again it may, you know like I gotta destroy my life again because I don't deserve being successful and I don't deserve being healthy and I don't deserve anything that's what depression does from someone who has it it makes you feel like shit all the time it makes you feel like you're not worthy of anything and you're a scum bucket and you know that you should basically just go die. And <clears throat> I get the feeling that's what it is with him. Even when people are supporting him and he's doing great work. And, you know, he can't get out of this rut in his back of his mind where he thinks he's, like, worthless. And that sucks. <clears throat> Poor guy. Anyway, pro Proto Assassin Cheese. I haven't watched any of your recent pre-streams. Wanted to know how you feel about YouTube axing Social Blade. Yeah, I haven't talked about this. Apparently what YouTube has done, they're completely getting rid of subscriber counts. And what they're doing is they're just going to have abbreviated numbers from now on. So, for example, like, like there's a... Uh... <clears throat> right now I have like 180,000... I think I think I have like 187,000 subs or something like that on YouTube. That's all it'll say. It won't say 187,527 or however many I have. It'll cut off, like, all your, your end numbers. So you'll never accurately know how many subs you really have. <clears throat> and essentially what this is going to do is not only screw up things for a lot of people who rely on, oh, you know, my popularity to get a, a brand deal or a sponsorship deal, but you're absolutely right. A whole, a whole business model like Social Blade, apparently they're cutting it off where they can't track stats anymore. YouTube is cutting off the algorithms and things of data that you need to track stats. Gotta stop moving so <clears throat> It's 
So yeah, like it's basically not only will your will your data on YouTube not be accurate when it comes to subscribers and the like, <clears throat> but other businesses that were always reliant on tracking data on YouTube are now going to go out of business because social play will have no purpose. They have no data to track anymore because YouTube's doing away with all of it. Hi, <clears throat> man. I wasn't going to let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? He was the mechanic. Oh, no. <clears throat> no. Just back up. I'm going to kill a bear. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. <laughs> Zombie bear. Where'd it go? Below us. There you go. Huh? Jesus, Dick. You did it. Oh, Jesus. It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. I hear zombies coming, but I think they're stuck behind that wall. <clears throat> So what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. It felt like maybe I wasn't, I don't know, doing my share. You know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Pretty right way. Everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. Manny, you know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? Nah, <laughs> sure. Here in the States. <clears throat> wow, no idea. Two and a half million. If you count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. So, one in 35 was someone who didn't give a shit about the law. And those are just the ones that got caught. Shit. So the question isn't... Why is it like this now? The question is, why wasn't it always like this? Guess I'll be sticking to the camp from now on. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> shout out to Westside Rascal who took me five dollars. Yeah, oh, hold on, yeah. I'll give her a shout out in a moment. Indeed. Cutscene. How are you, man? <clears throat> I'd be dead right now if you had me, <clears throat> Manny. <clears throat> Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Get the hell out of here. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Which side rascal took me five dollars and says, "I'm sorry for the off-topic question. How can I go about learning to how to hit combos in Mortal Kombat 11? I'm new to the fighting game community. I like to improve. Um, I don't know if anyone's doing like detailed tutorials. Mortal Kombat 11 is very different from games like Street Fighter, where you basically have to, it's called almost like dialing, like there's auto combos you can do and they it'll list them in the moves list, but then you can two in one certain move. So for example, if it's like square, square, triangle, you could do square, square, and instead of triangle, then you could do a special move motion. It'll do a special move to extend the combo a lot of times. Um, <clears throat> but that's very different in, from a game like Street Fighter. In Street Fighter, there aren't a lot of dial -a combos. Instead, it's doing like single hits chained together. The thing is, there's like it's so complex to explain to you. I can't really tell you in a moment's notice. I would say look for tutorial videos. Hopefully, someone out there made like detailed tutorial videos about Mortal Kombat 11 because it's very different from other fighters, and it would be very hard to learn unless you knew the the flow of how combos work. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, head to the sawmill. What's this now? Why am I going to the sawmill? Let me guess. I have to kill the fucking sawmill horde. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet they're going to force me to kill the sawmill horde? Which is huge. Remember, it was right near the Nero outpost. Oh my god. This sucks. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to kill the sawmill horde. <laughs> this is not good. <clears throat> oh, by the way, did I level up? I think I did. And I didn't use the point. Oops. <clears throat> Yeah, I do. I have a skill point I never used. So, improves initial recovery of health cocktail, increases stamina regeneration, regains stamina when taking damage. Both of those are good. They're both good. Especially finding a horde, those are both going to be good. You get stamina when taking damage, or get it back faster. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, yes, Valava, I agree. He says, I enjoy your streams. It sucks. Your second stream isn't European Union friendly. It starts at 4 a.m. Yeah, that's why I do the streams like this. So that I have one stream that's more during the daytime for, for people in the European Union and or, or, or evening. And then I have another stream that's more like for the evening in the United States and people at the other side of the world. Um, there's Honestly, there's no ideal times that I could really stream for a worldwide audience that I have. So I just try to make the most of it. You know, and I agree with you. It sucks that the chill streams are later, but um, if you can't make them, you can always watch them back on YouTube afterward on DSP Gaming, you know? Oh, man. Faster? You think faster is better here? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. This ought to be easy. Yup, clear the horde of the old sawmill. Fucking I shit. Make sure I have enough uh, traps, ammo, monotons. And anything else I can carry. I have a bunch of frag grenades, a bunch of pipe bombs. I have an okay amount of ammo. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I'm guessing a few drifters are trying to find out about your camp. How many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need. We mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? Ugh. No, I guess they don't. <clears throat> Man, he gets back. Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. So Stiggenboro said this is the biggest horde in the game, but this entire area is designed to keep That's distance true. between you and them. Trap. All right, brother. You there they me. are. Where are you getting the creosote? I just like driving that dump truck around. Goddamn right I do. All right, um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have a little creosote we need. The old sawmill? Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Yeah, I'm, uh, pretty sure I knew that. Wait, you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady, Deke, we're gonna get her back. Who's man? No. No, I don't. Look, I can handle this. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. You can out. This will work. Proximity mines down. Then I could run over here, shoot that barrel, right? Deke? Run this way. Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old side. Yeah. Oh, Boozer no. Security, he has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, we created a sort of souped up Molotov. A souped up Molotov? Yeah, yes, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. I need you, Deke. Oh my god. Fine. Don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. 
be interesting. Dasis R1 subscribed for two months. Thank you very much, Dasis R1. I didn't, I forgot you couldn't swim in this game. <laughs> I totally forgot. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> this really is. Thank God and country. He's alive. He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I guess a few drifters were trying to find out about your camp, how many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. When Mandy gets back, tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. I'm like, how would they have known that's where it came from? What? It blew up, it didn't do anything. More choke points. I guess that was a choke point. I'm stuck now. Yeah. This way, so we find another one. 
Well, Democrat chewed. He said, I lost 20 bucks on scratch tickets. Rest in peace. Yeah, scratch tickets aren't exactly the best chance of winning. Just saying. Died instantly. It didn't even show anyone attacking me. It just, I just died instantly. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. That was stupid as fuck. I didn't even do anything wrong. Fucking thing. I just died out of nowhere. Okay. Cope. I found him. Thank God and country. He's alive. He's a little banged up, but he'll live. Guessing a few drifters were trying to find out about your camp, how many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we need to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? Huh? Oh, I guess they are. Oh, man, he gets back. He's down. St. John out. Screwed up. shoot the barrel so that's a bad way to go you don't go into the do not go into the Nero camp even though there's all those barrels you're gonna get fucked up because of the Nero corridors they come in from different directions <clears throat> shut up out of nowhere <clears throat> plant some traps gotta plant some traps Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, and Boozer has a big move. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky. When I was with the militia, they, uh, we, <laughs> we created a sort of souped-up Molotov. A souped-up Molotov? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just, it's fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah. I'm, uh, light. Some big goddamn Molotovs, but you know, you get the idea.
Oh, my weapon broke. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I pulled out my gun and tried to fire. Yeah, it's not, it's not letting me fire my weapon. Being stupid. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Where did they come from? What the fuck? They literally ran from a different direction. I was leading the entire the entire horde one way and somehow they got around the entire building and came from the other direction. What am I supposed to do there? That didn't make any sense at all. Uh What really sucks is I can't fucking repair my my uh melee weapon. Nope, I found him. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I guess a few drifters are trying to find out about your camp, how many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. If Manny uh... gets back, tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. Killing me. Where are you getting the creosote? Just like driving that dump truck around. Goddamn right I do. All right. Um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have the creosote we need. The sawmill. Last I checked, there was a horde there. A big goddamn horde. Yeah. I'm uh pretty sure I can. What you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady. He didn't kill any? Who's man? No. No, I don't. Look. Just, just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear. Bring it right now. Oh my god, there's so many. It's like you need to know the whole map to know where to run so you don't run yourself into a dead end. I ran myself into a bad dead end. 
A really bad dead end. <clears throat> plant some this traps. Sucks. Plant some traps. This is probably the last annoying thing about the yeah, game, no too. Once you do this, it's probably like smooth sailing for the rest of the game. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I guess a few drifters were trying to find out about your camp. How many men you have? How many guns? I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, I guess they don't. Manny gets back. Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. The other reaction too. Annoying. they come from. The horde is so big 
that even if you outrun them and you place traps and you're using everything, that they still go around the other side and attack you. Where are you getting the creosote? I just like driving that dump truck around. Goddamn right I do. All right, um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have all the creosote we need. The old sawmill? Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Yeah. I'm, uh, pretty sure I knew that. Wait, you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady, Deke, we're gonna get her back. Who's man? No, no, I don't. Look, I can handle this. Uh. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. Deacon out. going what the fuck most of them went the other way It's not fair. They come from the other side. Apparently I used them all.
apparently working. Okay. <clears throat> he is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, <laughs> we created a sort of souped up Molotov. A souped up Molotov? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah, Deke. I'm, uh, just lighting some candles. Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but you know, <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> Out. So in reality, it wasn't about using any of those choke points at all. It was about running into a more open area so they all would stay on your ass, and you could just keep chucking shit at them. Because if I actually went into the choke points, they could circle around the other areas and get me from behind. <clears throat> Thank you to the aged giraffe who reset for 10 months. Is a shout out to Jason Genova? Alright, I don't know who the hell that is, but alright. <clears throat> Look at all these ears. <clears throat> trying to get all the swarmer ears. <clears throat> yeah, it is annoying that to pick up the horde ears afterwards, I agree. Yes, I did hear the Sonic movie is delayed till 2020. No big deal, as long as the movie's better, it doesn't really matter, right? Much rather have them delay the movie and have it be good than have it look like shit. <clears throat> Alright, what's this here? Spawn to me a dollar says you needed to go to the roof of the sawmill. It would have made it easier to kill zombies. Well, too late now. I don't even know how to get to the roof of the sawmill, so. <clears throat> Annoying. We did it. Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. <laughs> yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <clears throat> all right, that's it. Head back to camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> all right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? <laughs> Who knows? <clears throat> All right, I'll save some for you. You can't do this alone. Story mission coming up. We're almost done now. New skill point. Oh boy. Hey Deke, you there? Hey Ricky, what's up? There's still some work I need to do on the truck. Uh, I'll radio you when it's ready. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Deke, you sure you want to do this? They're coming, Ricky. <clears throat> Unless we take him out first. You're right. Okay, Ricky out. Taking out the militia. I agree, this is annoying. Like, when you kill a swarm, they should just award you, like, by default, like, several hundred ears. You shouldn't have to run in circles collecting them. This is kind of silly. <clears throat> silly and tedious.
I guess not that it's a huge deal. If you're at the end of the game, you don't really care about the camp affinity or whatever. I'm gonna use my skill point before I forget. So we're gonna go ahead and do six feet over. We're gaining stamina when taking damage. There you go. Okay. That was a lot of of zombies. Now I wonder, what if you had killed that horde already, right? What if you had decided to come here early and take out that horde? Because you could. Remember, the horde was there when I was doing the Nero outpost earlier in the game? That horde was already there. So what if you had come here early and destroyed that horde? Does that mean when you come to this mission, it's already done? Maybe you just go here gra and grab the fuel or whatever, and that's it? So there's really nothing to do. <clears throat> Uh, yes, Valava tomorrow. He says, can we expect Neo 2 gameplay? Yes, and Neo 2 is tomorrow. I did I did get the closed alpha beta key thanks to a fan. So thank you very much to the fan who sent that to me. I appreciate it. And I'll be doing that tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. Alright. I don't think one or two more ears is going to matter. We can get out of here now. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't know how you qualified to get into the Neo Alpha. Some people were saying they just got the code out of nowhere. It's like, huh? So you actually did absolutely nothing. You just got the code. That's kind of weird. Attack Wizard Island. Yeah. All right, let's do it. We're going to attack Wizard Island. <clears throat> when is Plague Tale? I don't know. We're going to be doing Neo 2, the Alpha. I'm going to be doing more t uh, Team Sonic Racing to finish that up. So it all depends on how stuff goes with that. I may be doing a Plague Tale later this week, depending on how this week goes. Uh, with contributions and the like, I may not. Well, that was a freaking screamer, wasn't it? We'll have to see what happens this week, so. <clears throat> Puppy Nibble says, I didn't care for the first Neo. You know, it's almost like a 50-50 split. Some people seem to really like Neo, and some people didn't. I was in the boat that actually liked it. I thought it was quite good, except for the repetition of certain enemies. I actually thought the game was really good. <clears throat> Honest Joel says, you'll need ammo. This is the last mission. Well, <laughs> oh well. So I'll admit, taking out that sawmill horde was a little annoying. But once I figured out, oh, don't actually go through any of the choke points they designed for you. Instead, just go to an open area and chuck shit at them. It became easy. Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. Drive right up to the front door. Jump. Goodbye, militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. That's no. a Cruiser, you and I both know it's probably a one way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. Oh, but there's just one thing. Only a couple of bikers pull a dumbass stunt like this. No. <laughs> Puts it, just cut back. Put it on the cut for the final mission. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn straight.
Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy, I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we gotta got take care of some stuff. They're all coming! Where That's awesome! Uh, the whole camp is coming. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. Oh, man, this is crazy. oh don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. For Mike, yeah. Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. And what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? You ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until that. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Classic distractionary tactic. They're gonna blow the north gate to to bring all the true all the defenses there, and then they're gonna strike the south gate instead. <clears throat> Very nice. Now let's see how this goes. <laughs> What's sad is I wonder if we're going to find out if the colonel is a fake or not. Probably not. He's probably just going to die. You won't even get to find out his backstory or nothing. It's feeling pretty epic right now. Hopefully the final mission is good. Orion Road, yeah, Iron Mike, Iron Mike didn't make it. When fucking stupid ass Schizo attacked the camp second time, this time with a different group of assholes, Iron Mike got killed. Hey, Boozer, we got a job. Hey, Booze Man, time to go. We got one shot at this brother. He's not gonna jump. Damn it, Boozer. Go. Get your old lady. Yep, you knew he was gonna do that. Suicide run. <clears throat> well, it worked. Goodbye, Boozer. One bad fucking ass dude. doing you can't swim you'll die within seconds we already learned this you can't do this so far Orion Rogue Schizo is still alive so we're about to find out what happens to him because he's here with the militia <clears throat> yeah, Golden Cult says oh it's a cinematic swim it's okay <laughs> yeah that's bullshit you're drowning like two seconds in the real game. Probably wanted to be absolutely sure it was gonna work. Boozer. Oh god damn it, Boozer. Oh god damn it. Boozer was like his brother. Clear all militia. Every goddamn one of you. I have no ammo, but I got a very powerful gun here. That wasn't what I was aiming for. Uh, 
Of what planet does it take that many headshots to kill someone? What the fuck? Die. This is annoying. This is really annoying. I needed the Tommy gun, but I have no ammo for it. Oh my god. I got him. Fuck them. <laughs> I get to the arc. I was like, oh yeah, I got a sniper rifle. I almost forgot. Pretty sure I just found a way past these guys. I'm running out of ammo, but it's okay, I'm getting kills. I got nine bullets left in the Tommy gun. <laughs> A different rifle? Here's some ammo. Now we're talking. Okay. Good shit. Now I can beat the game. <laughs> Now I can beat the game. Nice. <clears throat> I was going to say there had to be ammo somewhere. I can always use this. Grab some band-aids. There we are. Oh. 
this thing. Oh. I gotta be on the uh, tower. I gotta take him out. I gotta take him out. Goodbye. And that's why I have a cyber rival for the end of the game. Oh, by the way. So no one could try to kill me with those barrels, which is probably what they were there for. <clears throat> Stop, drop, and roll. Gotta get past these guys. Super napalm. Did. Ha! Ah, he tried to surprise me. What a dick. Almost there. Come on, come on, keep going. No. That was not well aimed. He killed himself. He was gonna throw something and I shot him and he dropped it. Nice. And double heavies. For this body armor. How much use against this heavy ass, heavy caliber sniper? No wonder this walkway was so long to get to the top of the fucking militia island. They wanted to basically have it be insanely, uh, like an insane Ricky, gauntlet. Can you hear me? Good night. This sniper rifle's too fucking good. Nice. Hurry it up already. Fuck you. You want me to blow us both to hell? God damn it. You hear that? Uh, hurry up. There. It's good to go. How many is that? Enough. Let's Enough. Back to the Colonel. Come on. Captain, we didn't have time Here's to set them all. 
What? I got God damn it! How many? There. Uh, it's, it's, it's three! Three, okay, sir! Okay, God damn it. Where's okay. the others? I'm going down to get the detonator from you. Hold the cave entrance. Not that hard. No one gets down here. His head exploded. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. No one gets down. Tommy gun too good. Careful, careful. Got it. That's it. Sorry, you're not blowing up shit today, Schizo. No. Where you hiding? Ammo. Yeah. Finally, Jesus. Hey, John. Oh, you're out there. Hey, I've got the bullet in the HQ. Get it out, man. Take it easy on you. They're down below me here. You'll get a fair trial. The thing is going to surprise me. What the fuck was she shooting at? heavies This is annoying as hell Got one Very annoying Okay, we make it. Come on, Lieutenant. Where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man. I ain't getting strapped in here. Weaver, come on. You know we follow orders. That's how it has to be. Where the fuck is it? This asshole. Weaver, where's the goddamn Excuse detonator? Better let him go. Give it to me. Yes, you son of a bitch. No. He didn't die. I shot him in the head. I shot him in the fucking head. That was completely unrealistic. Huh. Weaver, get the hell out of here! Go on, go! I've got some people coming to the north gate! Go! Oh, that was fair. So not only did an entire room full of dudes just come in out of nowhere to the right, they threw an instant grenade there was no way to get out of the way of. <laughs> that was pretty stupid. Weaver! 
Kramer, get the hell out of here! Go on, go! I've got some people coming on the north gate! Go! Okay. You tell me. You tell me what happened. I have no clue. Weaver, get the hell out of here. Go on, go. I've got some people coming out of the north gate. Go. I can't use a gun. There's a guy still alive, but they won't let me use a gun. Yeah, dude, it's glitched. I can't use a gun. The game thinks I killed everyone when I didn't, and now the guy's shooting me. Oh, my God. Ugh. Son of a bitch. I'm going to kill you. With my bare hands, you got that. What? No. No! Damn it! Die, goddammit! Oh, I got him. What a pain in the ass. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, kill this motherfucker. Thank you. At least we finally got him. You know something, Schizo? There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the priest. But hey, 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 hey. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? They would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, but I will.
Shut up, all of you. I know what's going on. All right. Out there, out there, outside the office. 